Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. This is just a video to show you a new feature that we've added to our free to use Ordnance Survey Route Planner. So you'll find our free planner on our website, gpstraining.co.uk and there's a heading along the top that says OS Planner. You don't download the software to your computer, you use it live while you're on the internet. There's lots of videos directly underneath the planner that show you how to use the software. There's an overview video, there's a video on planning a route. We're now going to add this new video. You will find a new video underneath the planning a route, which shows this new reverse tool. And as you scroll down the page, we've also got how you send routes to your Garmin unit or sat map or even a Garmin watch. So all the other videos are there. So it's a free to use route planner. So watch the videos um, on our website underneath the planner, which cover in more detail planning a route, editing a route, sending it to your GPS device. This new video is just to show you a new feature that was added since we did those initial videos. So I'm just going to use this go to box at the top where I can type in the name of a place or a, a point that I want to do a route near. And then when it comes up with that place name, I've got the map where I want it. And as per our videos that you see underneath the planner, I can click on the map to plan my route. So see, I was doing a circular route. And when I plan the route, I then think, what if I get to that route? And at the start, I decide I want to walk it in the opposite direction, maybe due to the way the wind's blowing. Or it could be a linear route you've planned and you decide you're going to park at what was the end point And you're going to make that now the start point. You can actually send both routes to your unit, one planned in one direction. And then simply by reversing it on our free planner, send both of them to your GPS device. I know that some GPS devices do let you reverse a route directly on the unit, but it saves you having to think about that if you've already done it in advance. So I'm just clicking on the map to plan my route just along the road initially and the footpaths. We have videos again on the planner directly underneath it when you're on our GPS training website in OS planner that cover the sort of editing of the route, changing the shape of it if you make a mistake etc and sending to your GPS device. So this is really just to demonstrate the new tool that was added recently that we didn't have already covered in our training videos for using the free planner. So I've just done a simple circular route here just on the ordnance survey map we always say don't close a circular route always leave a little gap between the start and finish so it's easy to determine um, where you are in regards to the route when you get to the start so now in the box where it says new route top left of the screen I'm going to type in Drake Stone which is the name of this walk but I'm doing this in a westerly direction so I'm just going to put W dash east so it's like going in the west first and then coming back in an easterly direction there's a little box here that says view profile in the top left of the screen where I've just given the route a name if I click on view profile, you've got an elevation graph on the screen now. The reason I'm bringing that up, you don't have to do it this way. It's just, just to show this reverse tool actually working. So what I can actually do is scroll down to the bottom of this Your Route tool. I can see I've got 29 points in the route and I can click on download GPX. So now when we download, I'll have the route that goes in a west to east direction ready to transfer onto my GPS device. The little tool that we've added that wasn't on our earlier videos where we've got the little boxes that say um, with the, the points in that you've created within the route and you've got the word delete um, next to each point. If you go just above the very top delete word, there's a little blue arrow pointing upwards and downwards. So it's basically an arrow going both ways um, vertically. If you hover over that arrow with your cursor on your computer, it actually says the word reverse route. So what you'll see when I left click on it once, the elevation profile is now reversed in direction. If I click on it again, it'll reverse it back. So you've seen the elevation graph now go back. So actually I want to put it back one more step. So I'm just going to click reverse again. So that's now in the opposite direction to the first route that I created. But where we've got the name Drakestone W to E, I'm just going to amend that now and call it E to W for east to west. And now if I scroll to the bottom of this box, 
and left click on download GPX. I've now got in the downloads on my Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, it would be on your Mac downloads. The two different GPX files that I can now copy into my GPS device. So we do have videos on our GPS training.co.uk website underneath the OS planner. So when you click on the OS planner menu at the top of the screen, and then scroll down underneath the planner. That's where all the videos are on using the software. So this new video that we're now doing that you're watching on YouTube will actually be there as well with the other videos. So we hope you found this useful. And if you enjoy using our free OS planner, please share the link to our website, to the OS planner with your friends and family. That would be much appreciated. And thanks for watching.